Hello and welcome to the walkthrough of the Explorer tool in the Webster Liberty Admin Center. We'll begin by logging in and we'll be greeted by the toolbox. Although there are several tools in the toolbox currently, uh, this demo will only focus on the Explorer tool. So we will select it right here and we'll be greeted by the dashboard. At the top of the dashboard, we see uh, the current alerts. In this case, we have app one stopped on two running servers, member one and member two. Uh, below, we see four panels um, for the applications, cluster servers and hosts in this topology. Uh, we see that we have three applications two of which are running, one is stopped. We have two clusters, two running, zero stopped, nine servers, eight running, one stopped, and four hosts, three of which have servers running and one host with all the servers stopped. Below each of the uh, tallies, we see a graph that shows a quick representation. Uh, so as you can see, they match the color. So for example, in clusters, we have two running, so the entire graph is green. Whereas in all the other graphs where we have an item stopped, we have a proportionality of the graph that is the black color for stopped. We'll continue on by resolving the current alert. So we have uh, three links uh, that we can click. Uh, it will take us to the respective resource. So in this case, we care about the application. Uh, so if we click on app one, we'll be taken to the application view of app one. On the application view, we see the state of the application, which is currently partially running, meaning that it is running on some instances, but not on others. We see any clusters to which this application belongs to, and in this case, cluster one. We see any current alerts, in this case, the same alert that we saw on the dashboard. And below, we see a list of the instances, um, along with the familiar graph we saw as well on the dashboard. So in this case, we have three instances of this application of which one is running to our stop. And below we see cards which represent each of those instances. Uh, the cards have the application name, their state, the server on which they are, uh, on which that application is present on, the runtime for that server, any cluster to which it may belong, and the host on which that server is running. We also see um, any alerts uh, if we expand the exclamation mark. Uh, and in this case, uh, we see that uh, very similar to the message up top. It says that app one on member one, app instance not running, which it would be very similar to what we see here, except on member two. Uh, in this case, to resolve this alert, um, all we have to do is start, start the application um, we can do this uh, in a multitude of ways. Uh, if we click this drop down, we'll have the different um, operations which we can perform. As we can see, since the application is stopped, we can start it. We can also go uh, to the instances view, uh, which will give us um, the same cards, um, but it also has uh, filters. Um, so we can filter by alerts, so any of app instances which have alerts um, or stopped. Um, again, in this case, it's the same, same uh, two app instances, um, as well as we have running. From any of these views, uh, we can multi-select um, applications uh, by clicking different cards or using the select all or select none shortcuts up top. Um, we can select all of them and we can hit start and confirm that we do indeed want to start the selected um, applications. And as we see, they uh, relatively immediately disappeared from this view and the other views have been updated to uh, three running um, and the alerts view has disappeared. So if we run to, if we return to the overview, we now see that um, all of our app instances are running, as well as that the alerts have uh, disappeared on this view as well. If we click on one of these app instances, we'll be taking to the app instance view. Um, so for example, in this case, it's app one on member one. Similarly, we see the state of this instance as well as any uh, cluster that it might be part of. 
Um, note that as we navigate through the different views, uh, this breadcrumb up here updates and shows the current topology. So in this case, app one is on member one, which is running on this livery runtime, which is hosted on this host. Uh, likewise, notice that the URL is changing as we navigate between the different views uh, for easy bookmarkability, as well as sharing of uh, the URLs for the different resources. On the left side of the breadcrumbs, we have a link to the dashboard that is always there. If we click that, we will return to the dashboard. And from here, we will take a look at the stopped server. So we are taking to the all servers view, which um, shows us every server in this topology. As we can see, there is one server that stopped. Again, if, in case we had uh, many more, we could use the filters up top to narrow uh, down our views. On the host card, uh, we see the name of the server, uh, the runtime to which it belongs, uh, the state of the server, um, the applications which are currently on that server and the host on which that server is running. Uh, we also have the action in case we wanna start, um, stop or restart it from uh, this view. Uh, if we click on the card, we will be taken to the server view. As we can see, it's the same information up top regarding the name, the runtime, and the state. And below we have the applications on the server. Um, in this case, there's only one application, and that is application three, and it is, of course, stopped since the server is stopped. From this view, we can start the server uh, by clicking this dropdown, and then we'll have the same options that we would on the card for this server, and we can click Start and Confirm, and as we can see, the server is starting. And this may take a couple seconds, depending on the machine on which you're running. And as you can see, the server has finished starting and the application has automatically started and the graph has been updated to reflect that. On the left side, we have uh, the list of applications on the server along with the filters for any running stop. And if we had alerts, we would see that as well here along with the um, same multi-select functionality we saw earlier. Below apps, we have uh, monitor. If we click on that, we see the uh, resource monitor graphs for this server. By default, we have the used heap memory, the loaded classes, the active JVM threads, and the CPU usage. We can change which graphs are being displayed by hitting the edit button and then toggling the ones that we want and or do not want. As we can see the graphs update um, and we can hit done. Um, in, as we see right now, the CPU usage for this graph for this server is very, very low. Um, but if, for example, uh, it wasn't and it was high, we might want to deploy another server with this application in order to alleviate the stress on the server for this app. So as always, we can always return to the dashboard by hitting this icon. We can then navigate to the hosts. As we see, we currently have four hosts. Um, host zero has no servers. Uh, host one has three out of three servers running. Host two has three out of three servers running. And host three has three out of three servers running. From here, we can select whichever host we would like to uh, deploy another server to. We can click on a drop down icon and we'll see the option to deploy a server package. When we click on that, we'll be taken to the deploy tool which will automatically populate the host name to which we selected to deploy. From here, we would fill out all the necessary information and then deploy the server package to the host. However, this is outside the scope of this video and we'll st instead return to the dashboard. We can take a look at the clusters that are currently in this topology. As we can see, we currently have uh, two clusters, one which is auto-scaled and one which is not. As we can see on the cluster card, we have the cluster name, its state, uh, the number of servers which are currently running along with the graph for that. 
as well as the uh, list of applications currently on this cluster. In the action icons, we have the actions for this cluster. Uh, since this cluster is running, we can stop it or restart it. This would stop and restart uh, any and all servers running on this cluster, or rather that are part of this cluster. If we click on the cluster, we see its name, its state, uh, the number of servers that belong to this cluster, along with their account of running and stopped, and the graph representing that, as well as the same for the applications. On the side, we have the similar uh, views for servers, which again has the filters along with the multi-select functionality. And likewise for apps, we have the same uh, filter capabilities and multi-select capabilities. As we see on all of these views above the uh, current multi-select, there is a search icon. If we click that, we are taken to the search view. In the search view, we can um, add different search criteria by hitting the plus icon. By default, we get uh, the search by name. However, we can change it to type, state, and tag. If, for example, we type in app for the name, we will get all resources uh, that have the word app in their resource name um, listed below. So as we see, the result is three applications, app one, two, and three. Uh, from here, we have the same information we would see on the card for these applications, as well as the action abilities. If we click on the drop down and stop this application, we see the application has stopped, which includes all the instances of that application. And this has generated an alert as we now have three app instances stopped on running servers. Uh, we can continue to add various search criteria by hitting the plus icon. So in this case, we can uh, change the type of search to be by state, and we can change it to stopped. And if we hit search, we see that the uh, list of applications has decreased to the single application, which we had previously stopped. Um, we can now start that, and it will start all the instances underneath it. As we can see, that happened relatively instantly. And we can continue to keep adding various search criteria um, including uh, the same types as previously. So for example, we could search for um, name also being member. And we hit enter. And in this case, we have no results because there are no longer any apps or members that are stopped. So we can remove this uh, search criteria by highlighting it and hitting delete and hitting search again. And as we can see, we now have um, the results include three applications and six servers. Uh, the applications happen to have the word app in it and the servers happen to have the word member in it. Uh, we can clear the search criteria by hitting the X button um, and we can continue to change and add various searches. Um, we could do a search by type in case we wanted to see um, a list of every single type of a resource. Uh, so, for example, if we want to see all servers, we had server and we search and there's a list of all our servers. As we can see, various servers have tags on them. So if we add another search criteria and make a tag, we can search for a controller tag. And as we can see, here are our three replica controllers. And all resources uh, that are listed as results of the search are clickable. Uh, so if we click on replica controller one, we will be taken to that server. Um, on the server, we see a more icon. If we expand that, we see that a note has appeared along with the list of tags. So in this case, uh, this server has a controller tag and a replica controller tag. It has an owner. In this case, it's John Doe, and it has the contacts uh, Amy, Felix, Philippa, and Travis. And as we can see, when we hover over the tags, they are clickable. And when we click them, we are taken to the search view, uh, which is pre-populated with the tag uh, that was clicked. 
Note that as with the resources throughout the Explore tool, uh, the search criteria also have a unique URL so that one can bookmark um, any searches that they frequent. And as we return to the dashboard, this will conclude the walkthrough of the Explore tool. Thank you.